Hiya, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet a very easy wonky witch's hat. So there's only has a few stitches in it, uh, three different ones and they're already simple. So I'm going to be using this yarn to actually make it, but it didn't like really show up well on camera. It's a DK yarn and I'm using a 4mm hook. This pattern works with pretty much any yarn as long as you've got the right hook to go with it. Stitch counter is optional. It's just to obviously count the rows so you don't get lost. And I've got a pattern already here. It's one that I've made myself and it took quite a while to make. <laughs> um, so to start off we're going to start off with a magic ring. So you get the yarn, wrap it around two fingers twice. So it crosses over like on the underneath of your fingers. You put the crochet hook underneath the first loop. Grab the second loop and pull it forward and then twist it around. Grab the yarn and pull it through the hoop you just made. And that's how you start it off. Didn't really explain that well, but hopefully you could see it well enough to actually get what I was saying. So now we're going to do half double crochets. So we're gonna put the yarn over the hook and then we're gonna go through that circle we just made. Grab the yarn, pull it through. Now you've got three hoops on your hook and grab the yarn again and pull it through all three and that's a half double crochet and that's pretty much the main stitch we're going to be using now and that's our first stitch done you can then add a stitch marker so you know where the first stitch is again this is optional but it might be handy for the first couple of rows because they're the most fiddly and you want to repeat this six times so again just do the half double crochet another five times. So you loop over the yarn, go through, grab the yarn, pull it through the front, grab the yarn and pull it all through all three. Until you've got six stitches on there. And then the only other stitches we're going to use is a slip stitch and a chain slip stitch, so really easy. So you want to pull the tail of that magic circle just to close it up. Then where the stitch marker is, that's where we're going to go through to start our next row. And every row starts exactly the same. So you want to put your hook through the top two loops of that stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through that stitch, and then through the stitch that's that was already on your hook as well. This, like I say, this can be this is more fiddly like the first couple of rounds. Once you get in it, it's a lot easier. Then we're just going to chain one and that's how we start every row then we start doing the stitches that the pattern says so you want to go straight into that stitch that we just came out of and we're going to do a half double crochet in that again i'm using a stitch marker to show where that first stitch was and then in every stitch in this row we're just going to do a half double crochet so you should end up with another six because there were six stitches in the row beforehand. So just do one half double crochet in every stitch from the row before. And then this will be like the top pointy bit. And then we'll have to start increasing to make it wider. But that's a really simple step as well. You don't have to do any fancy stitches. Again we're just using the half double crochet. US terms, I don't know why I learned in US terms, but the book I first started crocheting with for some reason had US terms even though I'm in England. So that's just what I stuck with. On this row as well, it may look like you've got an extra stitch, but that's just the one you've slipped in from the row before. So as long as you count, you'll be good. So just make sure you've done six stitches. I like to tie this bit off really early because otherwise I'll forget about it and it might come undone later. Some people just leave it but I like to tie it off so I just add a needle and then I just tie a knot in it so I just go through a stitch, pull the yarn through and make a knot into it and then I just hide the tail. So once I've done the knot I just sew through a couple of stitches one way 
and then sew through the other way and cut off any excess. It's just it's just a little step, um, but it's safer. It's better, it's better to do this than just leave it, and then it might end up unraveling at some point in the future. It won't any time soon. I've done things where I actually haven't tied it off at the end, and they're still fine, but there's still that chance that it might. And also, we're going to turn the work the other way as well, because that is the wrong side. And when you do turn it around, you can actually see the stitches a lot better on the top of your work. So you can see which stitches you're actually going through better. You can see all the V's on the top. So you just have to follow the pattern. It will tell you how many half double crochets you have to do in each stitch. And I'm using this row counter to remember what row I'm in. <laughs> But again that's optional so again we start off with the next row by slip stitching into that first stitch to connect it I make this look a lot harder than it is it's just I can't see very well on the camera where I'm going <laughs> then chain one and then we start off with the stitches so because we're going to increase, all we do there is we do two half double crochets in the one stitch on the row before. So the one we just went in, we've just done one half double crochet and we're now going to go in that exact same stitch and do another. So you've got two in that one. And in each row we're going to do this on three of the stitches. So each time we're going to increase three. So the next one, we're also going to do two half double crochets. And we're going to do these all in a line as well. We're not going to spread them out. And then we're going to do just one in the last three of that row. And then we end up with nine stitches. And we just carry on like that, just follow the pattern. As like the next row, you'll do six single crochets and then you'll do the three increases. And to keep the stitches increases together, it creates this kind of wonky looking hat. If you separate them out, it'll be more of a uniformed hat but on like this kind of whimsical kind of wonky kind of looking thing. But it's just carry on doing this, like following the pattern until you get to the size you want. You just keep trying it on. Once it gets so so big, like just try the hat on, see if it fits. Once it does fit, we can go on to the brim. So this one is a, the un more uniformed one, which I'll have another video for. It is just more like a straight pointy hat, not like the bendy one. So like I say, the it's a full pattern, so it goes up to like Probably something I can't remember quite, but just stop whenever you get to the hat that fits you. There's a lot of counting involved, but there's also a cheat where you don't have to count. So after you've done a few rows, count the first few rows because that's really important. Then once you're in a groove, you don't have to, and that creates this kind of like swirly kind of pattern. So what you could do is when you increase after you've done the first few rows when you do the increases put a little stitch marker in it to mark where your increases are because you'll always do the increase on the row after um, like next to them so this is the increases here on this row so I put a stitch marker right in the next stitch after that and then that's where the increases will be on the next row so you don't have to count you just wait do the single half double crochets until you get to that stitch marker then do the three increases and then put the stitch marker at the end of that one so the increases are moving slightly over each row and then that way you don't even have to think about what row you're on because you know you're increasing three each row and there's less thinking involved <laughs> so once you've got it to the size you actually do want 
it's time to make the brim so all we're going to do there is we're going to use the exact same stitches we've been using and we are just going to increase a lot more so we're going to go through the first stitch and we're going to do the half double crochet and then the next stitch we're going to do two half double crochets so that'll be an increase and then we're going to alternate throughout the whole hat so we're going to do one half double crochet then an increase so two half double crochets I'm going to do that all the way around and I'll make it kind of like stick out a bit and then that creates the brim and then after that it's literally just one stitch in each of the stitches so you won't be increasing any more and you just repeat that until you get to the size of brim you want because some people might just want a small one some people might want one a lot larger it's totally up to you so I haven't actually shown this bit because it gets so boring because it is literally the same thing once you've done this row of increases no more increases just the single half double crochets let's say you just keep doing that until you've got the size you want so you don't have to follow the pattern exactly like I say you stop when you get to the size you want or you can make it like larger like the pattern I've done is if it's an adult if it's me so if you want to make one for a child stop like rows beforehand um depending on the size you want once you've finished you've got to the size you want it's easy just to tie it off so you just go through that first stitch like you'd be starting a new new row we're going to be slip stitching that pulling the yarn through and then we're going to kind of do a chain stitch but I'm going to just pull it really tight so it kind of tightens it knots itself up I do that twice you don't really need to but I like to be safe so just cut tail off pull the end through make sure the knot is nice and tight I'm gonna put a needle on the end and I'm just gonna like sew this through a few of the stitches just to hide the tail it's gonna go in one direction and then I'm gonna go back on itself in the opposite direction and then just cut off the excess and that's it you're done so we've got a nice like a witchy hat and depending on what colors you make these actually come out looking quite different so hopefully the other tutorial for the more kind of straight uniformed hat will be up soon and hopefully I've learned to actually explain things better by then <laughs> so if you have any questions just ask them and I'll try my best to explain but it's really simple not much thinking about it if you use the stitch markers and then you've got your wonky witch's hat so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it see you in my next video bye